Good morning, guys. Not a bad view to wake up to this morning, is it? Woo, this one is paradise. Just get me Crocs on. So we have woken up here this morning next to this little river and it has been a beautiful night's sleep. Morning guys. Here's Ooh, your coffee. Thank you. And we thought today we would take you on a bit of a typical work day in the van for us. Yeah. Um, as you know, we work three days a week, so that is a big proportion of our time. So we thought we would take you along with us. Oh, we're in Serbia as well. <laughs> but we'll explain why we're not in Bulgaria in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's show you around the camp spot. Mm. So here's Dee Dee. We just sort of shoved her in on this like grassy bit where someone had already parked. Um, you'll see these solar showers are up for later sexy bathing uh, there's also a spot where we've got a hammock set up although it's not set up now because we didn't want to get all wet overnight um, and here is our river, our river. <laughs> nobody else has really come here um, or at least down in this little entrance bit uh, and it's really nice it's quite shallow it's like up to your shins but we did lay down in it last night to get a bit of coolness after like 26 degrees so it's a lovely little spot, although there are some problems with it in that I think if it rains, which it's meant to rain quite heavily tonight, it would just turn to mud. Mm. And there's a load of rubbish yeah. everywhere. Like people have come over the weekend and like, okay, come to me. Like the kids were here playing, which was lovely, but then look, like they've left their drawings on like, of a dinosaur, kind of chicken. <laughs> Serbia, if you know whose art this is, please let us know so we can return it to its rightful... Oh, there's a bug. And the other difficulty is as well, like we could pick it up, but then we know that tonight when people come to enjoy the sunset next to the river or at the weekend, if it's a normal thing for people to drop litter, then it's just gonna happen over and over again. So yeah, there's only so much we can do. I think Court's made a point previously, probably not on camera, like, is it even our responsibility? It's not our country. We leave no trace when we come. Yeah. But like, we can't stop Serbians littering in Serbia or Bulgarians in Bulgaria or Turkish in Turkey. No. So we try not to let it like impact us and we try to do a bit, but we know that it's not the solution for us to pick up everyone's litter. Yes, very true. Oh, and we have parked her in the shade here because it's been getting to 28 degrees. Hallelujah. It's finally hot, finally summer, but that van gets boiling. As much insulation as we put in there, it's still a metal box, so it does heat up very quickly. Uh, so just popping her in the shade. Thankfully, we've got plenty of power for work, so we're not too worried about solar. We should probably show you the carnage that's inside the van and get it tidy so we can get set up. Absolute reality. Bin bag down there, coffee mugs, laptops on the seat, clean dishes from last night after just drip drying, the bed's not made, the bed's not put back into sofa mode, coffee mug, uh, yeah. We also have carnage in the shower, laundry, backpacks, towels from going in the river, extra water, Oh, tripod yeah. camping chairs in the front like oh my god this place So we bought these for six euros a piece when we were in Spain last year, the year before, and they are the best thing ever. They pack down so small and you basically just fill them with obviously natural water or cold water, leave them in the sun and then they heat up throughout the day. It's amazing and they get really, really hot. So this way we don't have to like have really quick showers in the van where it's like 
<laughs> turn the water on and off because we've got like unlimited water there it's amazing there is so much nature here it's absolutely beautiful butterflies dragonflies little like spidery things <laughs> you come out and you're kind of like covered in little cobwebs but the birds are beautiful there's frogs next to the river it's just honestly heaven Ta -da! we have our workstation and you might be surprised but literally all we both need to do our job is one of these each and our laptops oh and some water because you know hydration is key got me boiled eggs for my breakfast we're gonna crack on now and actually do some work because we work with UK companies so we need to be online and active we will pick you up when it's probably lunchtime oh my god there's so many frogs here it's so adorable that she just comes down to the water's edge and they're like pop, 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 jumping in nearly stood on one of them poor little fellas <gasps> that's another one i love nature so we have just finished our lunch and we thought we would come out and enjoy a little bit of sunshine on our lunch break enjoy the water because my god it is hot today and this is just amazing to have this right on our doorstep it's technically our back garden i guess for the day like there's no one else around apart from that motorbike that's just going across the bridge <laughs> and it's just us and the nature and the frogs it's just amazing my oh my how our lunch breaks have changed over the last two years right when you talked about lunch breaks changing before i uh i remembered what i used to do um in leeds in round here was where the office used to be and there was like no food shops anywhere around it so if you forgot your lunch you'd have to walk a good 40 minutes just to get to a little sandwich shop and then walk back very quickly whilst eating your sandwich usually in the rain <laughs> usually in the wind <laughs> and i mean this just doesn't compare anymore does it it's no. a different life it feels like but i'm still doing the same work so i always then think why doesn't anyone do this yeah uh yeah my lunch breaks i typically just used to work through them i imagine a lot of people do that as well no but it's just easy isn't it like when you work in an office and the day just gets away with you you've always got like so much work on it's really hard to prioritize like self-care and that balance between work and personal life when you're in the office like more time than you're actually at home so yeah this is really good in comparison it is a dream we know also we should caveat that and say we know we're very fortunate that we um both started careers in an industry where working remotely and all you need is a laptop uh yeah we're, we're very aware of that but it feels good not apologizing for it though because it's no. amazing <laughs> yeah not apologizing not apologizing just saying we're very aware that we're fortunate for that situation are you weighing right now no no what? <laughs> this is a PG channel. Okay, oh, that was scary. You probably heard it. Mix had the drone up, and then when he brought it back in, came back around the corner there. The sensor didn't go off, and it flew itself into the bush. Oh, fly. Uh, Luckily, it got caught in the branches and I was able to grab it before it fell in the water, but that was a close call. Yeah, it was like that far off the water. Oh so. my goodness. That oh. would not have been fun. No. Oh, it's so nice. Mm. It's not even that cold. No, I'm not weird. I don't do that. <gasps> you ass. <laughs> 
No, 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 no. Not funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. No, don't. Because we're not children. Okay, now I'm weighing. <laughs> I'm glad I'm upstream. I waited. Okay, I think this just shows our characters perfectly. Like, I'm sat here on the edge of the water, just like enjoying, relaxing. And Mix is all the way off over there on the other side of the river. Like, I'm gonna go explore. I'm gonna go see what I can find. <laughs> He never just sits still. He's always wanting to do something, which is why I love him. Um, we're always adventuring together, which is great. But yeah, in these moments where like, you've got the option to just sit and relax. No, he never could. Okay, well, after a lovely little dip and a bit of a relax and explore, uh, we should probably get back to work. Oh yeah, another day done. That's day two of three nearly, no, finished. And I am warm. <laughs> I don't know if you can see like the shiny complexion. The of glow. The glow, I'm glowing darling. That solar shower is nice and hot, so I think it's time. <laughs> Ow, 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 ow. Ha, be sexy! <laughs> Look how hot it is, my face! It's actually burning you! <laughs> See, I told you it was hot. Okay, I think that's enough sexy showering for now. <laughs> Let's just let him carry on and enjoy his actual shower, shall we? But wasn't that entertaining for us all? Well, there we go. That is us all lush and clean. The sun is kind of going down. It's about six o'clock now. We've packed the van and we're actually going to move spots tonight. And typically we do this quite often on our, what we call as sedentary days when we're just sat working at our desks and not really moving our bodies. We like to kind of fake that feeling of movement by moving to a new location to work for a different day. So yeah, this spot has been amazing, but let's go and see what else Serbia has to offer. Consider an ambulance just flew past us and a motorcyclist went like this. I think this is probably a crash. Yeah, possibly. Wow, I'm gonna just turn the engine off. Have you turned your lights off? Yes, I just did that there. Wonderful, because we don't want another flat battery, do we? When are you gonna forget that? <laughs> Never. Never, okay. It has just occurred to us that we haven't actually told you what it is that we do to make money whilst on the road. Whilst we're waiting, it's a probably a good opportunity for us to do just that. So I work as a freelance SEO consultant. Sounds posh, doesn't it? But essentially, I work with marketing agencies who need short-term or long-term SEO support um, for their clients. Um, we, I'm lucky enough to have contracts that run three days a week, Monday to Wednesday, and uh, I absolutely love what I do. Uh, well, I say that. I don't absolutely love what I do. I love the fact that I can do it remotely and I'm okay at it. Um, do you want to tell them what SEO stands for? Yeah, so SEO is search engine optimization. Basically, I work with websites to make sure that when you search for things that are relevant to them, they rank as high as possible in the search results. And that's it. I'm a real geek. And I am marketing and operations manager for a financial advisor. 
And that pretty much means that I do a little bit of everything when it comes to marketing. So brand awareness, promotional materials, client servicing, trying to make sure that the business runs more efficiently, adopting new technologies and all stuff like that, really. Basically being a massive planner, which is great because I absolutely love planning. <laughs> and it also helps. It's a family business. So yeah, the flexibility of working three days a week and remotely is great. My dad is my boss, um, but it's okay because I get to boss him around a little bit too. And then sometimes on the side, I do a little bit of freelance work with agencies similar to Meeks or do some stuff with my old university mentoring some of the students, which is really cool. Get to do a little bit of everything. What are you doing, Courtney? Huh? What are you doing? Well, when you've got your home with you and you're stuck in a traffic jam, you might as well just make some dinner, right? So we've been here for like over an hour now. I'm getting a bit hungry. So I'm just making a little veggie scramble. Looks like we've got movement. Pitch black now. And Courtney's made some nice dinner. <laughs> just as it's ready. What's the likelihood of that, eh? Well guys, since we last picked up the camera like 24 hours ago, things have changed in our lives and uh, we are now at a motorway rest stop on our way out of Serbia. We had some news yesterday that um, a member of uh, my team and the company that I work for um, is leaving. So we have made the tough but right decision to go back to the UK a couple of months early and help out. Um, it actually works out okay because we're going to get the nicest months in the UK and then it gives us time for our Schengen counter to reset so that we can come back out to Europe in the autumn rather than it being in the depths of winter. So maybe thing, these things happen for a reason. But yeah, things have changed a lot and now we're on a very, very long drive towards Rotterdam to get the ferry. Because we're going to be doing loads of driving, this is kind of where we're going to leave you in this video. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us on what was a normal day in the work life that rapidly changed. <laughs> so we will catch you in the next video.